Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and today I'm here with one of my favorite snakes. This is a northern ringneck. I uh, stepped out of a car the other day when I was stopping at a Boy Scout reservation where I was going to do a nature walk. And I looked to my, my right and I thought, man, that looks like some good snake habitat. The second rock I turned over, there underneath was this northern ringneck. So today's episode is about some fascinating facts about this tiny, tiny snake. And at the end, we'll answer the question, is this the world's smallest snake? So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. So this northern ringneck is pretty easy to identify. You can see underneath it has a bright yellow belly and it has this uh, fascinating blue, black to gray, very consistently colored backside. But of course the most distinctive thing about this snake is this bright yellow ring around its neck. The other species is the southern ringneck, and it looks very similar, except the collar is broken on the dorsal or backside, and they often have lots of little dark spots, uh, one or two spots on each scale underneath, and sometimes a red tail. The northern ringneck feels so smooth to the touch. Its scales are so tiny and fit together so well. And also they're known as smooth scales. Snakes may have two kinds of scales, either keeled scales or smooth scales. The black snake, if you pick one up, feels kind of rough because there's a keel on each scale, as is the same on the rough green snake. Other snakes that have smooth scales are the black racer. One of the really cool facts about these snakes is that they have the widest geographic distribution of any snake in North America. You can find eastern ringnecks from southern Canada all the way down to Florida, across the country, and even on every state on the Pacific coast. So with this range and relatively high population densities, this may be the snake you will most likely encounter as a resident of North America. This snake is rather secretive. You're not likely to find him laying out on the road like many snakes or basking in the sun. And gardeners and people around the house usually find them when they turn over a log, a board, or when they're digging in their garden. These snakes like to burrow, they like to be underground, they like to be underneath something. And you can see that he spent most of his time trying to burrow underneath or get underneath something if I had him out to take a photo or a picture. And even in my hand, he would try to, to burrow and nuzzle in and disappear underneath something. One of the first questions people often ask about a snake is, does it bite? Well, this snake is so small, its mouth is so small, and they're so gentle, they're really unlikely to bite ever, if at all. And their mouth is so small, I don't think they could even like give you a pinch if they did try to bite you. In fact, most of their food is soft-bodied invertebrates and vertebrates like slugs, worms, small salamanders, maybe even some small lizards. But they'd have to be really small. Just look at the size of this guy. So if the snake doesn't bite, and he's perfectly harmless, how does he protect from himself? Well, when agitated and you pick them up, they'll often do a squirming corkscrew kind of effort to try to get you to drop them, which is often very effective. Another thing they will do is they will defecate uh, from their feces and their anal glands, a very, very foul smelling material. That is certainly a deterrent to predators. The third thing it might do is it might display the end of its tail, coil it up and shake it around and show its uh, bright colors underneath. And the purpose of that is to try to create a distraction and it may be to confuse a predator in not understanding which end is the head end of the organism. Another fascinating fact about this snake is that technically they're actually venomous. 
The snake has some rear-facing fangs that are back in its mouth that it uses to chew in a slightly venomous saliva into their vertebrate or invertebrate prey. This is not active on humans. Their fangs are too small and too far back to affect, and the venom is very mild. And its intention is to paralyze the prey and make them easier to swallow, because this is not a snake known as a constrictor, like a black rat snake might, where it constricts its prey. So it relies on this mild venom to help paralyze and slow down their prey that's delivered with these rear-facing fangs by when they're chewing into the organism that they're trying to swallow. Another really unusual and fascinating fact about these guys is that they tend to be social. Then colonies of up to 100 individuals is not unusual. And they'll also hibernate in the same communal dens. A herpetologist by the name of Henry Fitch did a research study uh, with mark and recapture ringneck snakes in Kansas. And he estimated that population densities occurred between 700 and 1800 ringnecks per hectare, which is about the equivalent of 2.47 acres. So imagine up to 1800 ringnecks spread across two and a half acres. That's a really high population density and it's so fascinating to know that about this secretive snake. So how big does this tiny snake get? Maximum probably 10 to 14 inches which is really small and its offspring when they hatch from eggs are going to be less than two inches and proportionately thin so the offspring are really really tiny. So is this snake the tiniest snake in the world? Well, no, it's not. There are snakes even smaller than this. It does make most top 10 lists of the smallest snakes in the world, however. And in North America, it's one of our smallest. As far as the smallest snake in the world, that title probably goes to the Barbados thread snake, which is less than four inches long. And here in North America, the smallest snake in North America actually is a non-native snake, which was probably introduced in the soil of potted exotic plants that have been imported. It's less than four inches long as well. So the smallest snake in North America is recognized as the Brahmini blind snake, less than four inches long. But our ringneck snakes are certainly up there as recognized as one of our smallest snakes. They are so cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Nature at Your Door here with this eastern ringneck here in far southwest Virginia. Remember, if you like what I do on this channel, please leave me a comment and give me a like. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, Myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. But thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door here in far southwest Virginia in the Appalachian Mountains with this northern ringneck snake.